Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop, can't turn back now We know that there's no room for doubt No, we can't turn back now
Promise the days that we can yeah. relax. Where did the time go? It all passed. Now I need to go back. I had no worries, but always had plans. Only thing I do was take out the trash. Now it's much harder to laugh. Hard to get up and not work on my craft. Yeah. I need inspiration. Don't need no validation. No more medication. Just trust some meditating. I don't need you to save me. Feel like all of you hate me. Everything's been so hard with all the situations lately. I just need to numb the pain for a minute. I just wanna run away on vacation I don't know what else to say now I just need to know the pain With my head again You had your heart set on me But these feels they come and go And they come so easily Tell me what it is About you that I can't forget But you're breaking down my walls again Just to set me free Why do I, baby, why do I Love the way you are, we always leave me Why do I, baby, why do I would never love a feeling Why do I, baby, why do I Love the way you are, we always leave me Why do I, baby, why do I Love the times we never love a feeling Save me. Why do 
look at people and I wonder all day Who are you and you are not the one in your way And then I think about myself and I stay I'm a pretty boss, we're gonna shoot your brain waste I'm a freak in the sheets, but I got class I'ma grab an ass if you want it Best you ever had, give it to you Talk about quiet with a big mouth. Listen for the doubt, then call it. Make you out for what you're saying to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh, I'll take you on like a big deal. Eggs you can unseal. Keep ignition. Just keep me for a guy to me once in a while. Feel all that I, I know you like it. Can't fight it. I might let you ride the way. I'm New York and you're LA. Come together, feel the shock waves. Uh.
got you in my sight I keep all the words you said to me I get you, get you, get you, get you on your knees Rewrite all the things you said that I should be I'll get you, get you, get you now you beg me please Hey Now I stay away You were never meant to save me Somehow I woke up out in Beverly, fucked up, smelling like that bourbon. And I end up alone. I'm not sharp. Yeah, the girls and polite in the club every night. That's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect. Hollywood perfect. Out in Beverly, fucked up, smelling like that bourbon. And I end up alone. I'm not sharp. Yeah, the girls seem polite in the club every night. That's how it goes when you Hollywood perfect. Smelling like that bourbon And I end up alone I'm not certain The girls are polite in the club every night Somehow I woke up out in Beverly Fucked up Smelling like that bourbon And I end up alone I'm not certain The girls are polite in the club every night That's how it goes when you're Hollywood person
sick. Okay, that startup took way longer because uh, I had to quickly put the dishes away when I went downstairs. We're here. We are here. I actually need to open Genshin. There we go. We are here. Want to hear something crazy? So obviously the title of stream, right, says... Wait, what? Am I stupid? Hold on. What did I title my stream again? Uh, yeah. Also, can I talk about my crush with y'all? Yeah. So, what's funny is I checked my TikTok real quick. Right after setting the announcement, right? And like setting up stream. You want to see the fucking TikTok, the first thing that popped up on my For You page. And, that, and stuff like this keeps popping up on my For You page. Hold on switch over to this want to see this this this, this shit like okay look tiktok right tiktok it says body language fact about attraction oh my god i can't fucking do this that's what that's what popped up on my tiktok First video. What is going on with Spotify? What the fuck? Oh, is it just not? Fixed it. Why is the camera so blurry? Lovely. Okay, but yeah, I keep getting fucking videos like that on my For You page. Mind you, <laughs> this little crush thing has only been going on for like a week and a half. 
And I've, I've only talked about it to, like, four people total. Out loud, like, with my voice. I've, well, there's one other person that I've only talked to about it through text, because I haven't, like, seen her in person yet to talk to her about it. She might be here. I told her to be here. Because I was just barely talking to her about the whole thing. Because I have a plan. <laughs> I have a plan. And I'll talk about this plan with everyone present. But basically, I'm trying to befriend this girl, right? I want to befriend them, not like hit on them. Well, both. But I want to befriend them before anything else. I want to get to know her because I don't know her that well. Also, I just realized I never actually did my commissions and my and use up my resin. But it's fine because I have no idea what I want to do today. So Um Actually wait, I know we're gonna go use some of my resin real quick. Currently I have been fighting uh this thing so I can level up Mulani. Um, except I need to fight a bunch of tribal warriors for drops. I just heard a weird noise. Okay. But I am, like, going fucking insane. Because, like, my, my fall break is, like, this week. Um, which I'm going to take the extra time that I have to work on a separate, like, project of mine. Which is to, um finished setting up my room and like clean it and stuff because I haven't had the time to do that because school but that also means that I ain't gonna see her this week because she is in my chem lab which I only have once a week so I have to wait till because it's every Tuesday I have to wait till the 22nd of October it is the 12th I have to wait 10 days before I see her again and then I have to try to not be weird and creepy or awkward when trying to ask her, like, hey, do you want to go to this haunted attraction thing that happens in the in my hometown, which is 40 minutes away? Um, like, you want to go to this haunted attraction thing with me and, like, have fun? I don't know how to do that without being weird about it. Inazuma shines eternal! Shine down. Oh, my eyes itchy. Holy fuck. Ow. Solidify. My eyes Life really itchy on. and it's making hard make it hard to focus. On fighting the the golden tyrant of the broken oath. My apologies. Stabilize. There is no escape. Gather. Receive. Illusion shattered. Take flight. Unthinkable. Stabilize. Embrace the ice. Now you shall perish. A little further away from Max Resin. Um, I don't know. 
what I want to do. Um, I can do a story quest. Or a hangout. Where do I hang up? Where should I start? Over here? Probably. I don't even know how the hangouts work. Maybe I should do this. Maybe. Maybe it'd be a good thing to do this event thing. Or at least go through the dialogue of it. And see if it's just like one of those events where it's like, play this challenge over and over and over again and get all stars to get all the rewards because a lot of them are like that world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. Okay. It's Shilonen. Hey, Shilonen, didn't expect to see you here. Hey there, Traveler, Paimon. What, is it so weird to see me at my own home? Uh, okay. Well, no, but Paimon thought you'd have found a beautiful tree to get a few days shut-eye in by now since we just solved since we just solved such a big problem. I'd love to, but everyone's been busy with the reconstruction. It'd feel wrong to slack, slack up any time. Am I supposed to do this, this event after the main quest? Probably. So this is where you decided to contribute? Here, let me show you something. Wow, oh, what a pretty jewel. Looks very valuable. Yes, but that's not all. This is a phlogiston ph honey pearl with peculiar patterning that's been making the rounds recently in the market. They're usually produced by phlogiston ph aphids. Pretty common, really. But those oddly patterned ones are both novel and scarce, making them quite expensive. Paimon gets it. That's just like how we love treasure chests that have awesome looking patterns on them, too. So I bought a few for my collection, and guess what? After a few days, the potted plant I was raising nearby had withered. I didn't think much of it at first. I mean, I don't know the first thing about growing plants anyway. Later, however, I learned Kachina say that some people got sick. Most of them were customers of Shivan's gemstone shop. Even Shivan herself proved no exception. Huh? Wait, did it all have something to do with this gem then? I thought so too, and so I smashed one open and discovered that it contained some abyssal energy. Low concentration, of course, and isolated by the outer shell of the honey pearl itself, which made it almost undetectable. What about the victims? How are they doing now? No need to worry. The low concentration re concentration resulted in rather minor maladies, with most being sleepy or being prone to exhaustion. It hasn't had any effect on the more fit, like myself or Kachina. Phew, and here Paimon thought this might be a sticky situation. Sticky? Like the honey and honey bros? I bet Paimon was thinking sticky like slimes instead. You know it, and unfortunately for us, this problem is only a threat to ordinary people, just like slimes. Hey, you two really understand one another. We totally do. Still, we've met lots of people scared stiff by slimes, so it's not like we can ignore it just because it isn't dangerous for us, right? Exactly. I already explained the situation to our chief and asked him to collect and destroy all the strange honey pearls on the market. But we will, st we will still need to attack this issue at the source. My sentiment exactly. Like I said, phlogiston honey pearls are produced by phlogiston aphids. If anything is the source of the problem, it'll be them. I went to look for Kanich, since he's got the better head, of, head for investigating between us. Yesterday, he sent word that he found aphids with abyssal contamination. There are also traces of their presence near the signs of the canopy and the people of the springs. Right, and Kanich also notified Mulani. 
However, they're not exactly gemstone enthusiasts, so the problem didn't affect them as much. Hmm, looks like there are all sorts of lingering abyss-related issues, huh? Guess we've gotta be patient. How do you plan to deal with ath with the aphids? Catch them first. We can still purify this level of abyssal a level of abyssal contamination. We shouldn't need to harm the aphids. Kanich has marked out places where they gather, and I'm heading to a spot near our tribe. Would you like to come along, by the way? A little bug catching sounds like fun, doesn't it? I'd have an I'd have invited Kachina, but unfortunately she's already occupied. I'm game. Glad to have you. Would have been a boring trip otherwise. Let's head off then. Okay. When do we get more of Natlan released? Because obviously Natlan's not going to be that fucking small. I still have to explore all of Natlan. I might do that today. Maybe. Although I guess I explore a lot of it when I do quests. Like, Fontaine, a lot of the- minus like the- the like certain areas of like the sea, most of my Fontaine exploration came while doing quests. But I want to get a lot of Fontaine's quests done before I move to Natlan quests. For like, context and following the flow of time. I guess. I don't know if that really explains it. I love to Genshin music. <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? This is our spot. See that? An aphid, polluted with the power of the abyss. Way larger than any normal one ever gets. Whoa, what a huge aphid. Uh, is it dangerous? Relax, even though it's been contaminated by the abyss, its behavior doesn't seem to have changed at all. Still, I've specially prepared an extra large insect net to make sure everything goes smoothly. Here you go, it'll come in handy for catching them in a moment. Oh right, by the way, Kanich mentioned something rather unusual. He discovered that there's a special berry that always grows near areas where abyssal aphids are found. The berry contains a toxin that can paralyze the aphids, so if we spread them on the net, it'll stop the aphids from struggling. Huh? Why are aphids living around a berry that paralyzes them? Seems kinda strange to Paimon. I think so too. First time I've heard of animals living alongside something that's dangerous to them. It's totally unnatural. Wait, could someone be behind them getting infected with the abyss? Paimon's sure on high alert these days. Hey, even the dumbest guys grow up, and Paimon was never dumb to start with anyway. The only problem with that is- The only problem with that is that we searched everywhere, but didn't find any trace of human involvement. So let's just chalk it up to some unknown natural aphid behavior for now. Fine, but no matter what, we've got to catch them first. We don't want anything else that makes people sick running around. Bugbuster Squad, move out. Okay, what do I do? Uh, before they go, let's find the desert tree. Okay. Okay, oh, I could see you Shilonen. That shock of bags tried to that when you visit part of the yes left. Oh, I love her. Flame or a sword? I think she's using a sword. Rise. 
No, she has a sword. Caught it. Phew, we did it. Though this bugger certainly looks big, it was pretty easy to catch. It's not dangerous at all, other than the fact that other than the fact it likes to run away. The insect the insect neck and numbing berries were really useful too. Yeah, but seem seeing as it's the abyss these aphids are contaminated with, they could attract monsters. Best to be on your guard. Yeah, you're right. And since these all too convenient berries just happen to be here, well if it was Paimon, she'd steer clear of any enemies. Being around berries like this isn't normal or natural, I mean. We should keep our eyes peeled. There's something really fishy going on for sure. You certainly look like an expert on suspicious going-ons. And Paimon learned it from you. Ha! Huh. Anyway, thanks for coming out here with me. We've taken care of one area, so it's about time for a nice little break. After all, I need your help over the next few days, too. Yeah. <gasps> oh, it unlocks at certain times. Okay. <sighs> she loan in. Oh, I don't even have enough primos for a wish. Okay. Or to buy a wish. Oh, my foot! Okay. Um, I guess we're gonna go do something else now. Guess we can go do, do some want to go Fontaine quests. Okay. Hello? Okay. Ione, what are the odds? Did you finally have time for a cup of coffee with me after work? Thank you for your offer, but I have a confidential matter that requires your attention. Confidential matter? Is it something I know about? I think you may not have been informed yet. I only received the document this morning. Now that's odd. Perhaps my information is a step behind yours since I haven't had a chance to read the Steambird yet today. 
But it, it's a confidential matter. Why would you read about it in the Steambird? Huh, those reporters get information and spread it far faster than our internal memos here at the Maison, Ga Maison Gas Gaslion can. Of course, it's understandable. After all, they get paid when they deliver a message. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Let's not talk about that for now. Sir, it's like this. Yane explains the situation in detail. I don't remember what the situation was. Ha, uh, that's right. Such an announcement is absolutely necessary. This already happened. Some blithering idiot wanted to show off his desk layout and took a picture of it. He's a member of the camera club and showed that very photo to the other members of the club. But one of the members of said club just happened to be an astute reporter, who quickly noticed a document that looked like an internal memo in the picture. And guess what happened next? The next day, that blasted memo complaining that only fish gets... That blasted memo complaining that only fish get served for dinner here, day in and day out, was all over the Steambird. Does that count as a secret? That doesn't sound very serious. Whatever it is, it's internal information, and it should not be leaked to any outside parties. The people of the Court of Fontaine never miss an opportunity to mock and deride the Maison Gastion, and we must act with caution. As if they actually gave two figs about what we actually do here. All they want to do is have a laugh. Uh, anyway, I'll leave this to your office to take care of, then. But this matter concerns new rules for personnel. Defour is the one who should sign off on this. After all, in this document, though it reminds everyone of the importance of keeping confidential information secret, the more important thing is how to communicate these principles to them. If you ask me, it must be Defour that takes care of this. Our office will certainly assist in this matter. This will be more efficient and confidentiality can be ma maintained. Gantiano Swift decides the name of the dotted line reading co-organizer. But Mr. Gantiano, this matter... Come on, boy, you can't dwaddle ab- dwa You can't dawdle about. Oh, this must be taken care of. Now go find Defour quickly, before his patience is worn thin by other matters. Now, I'll go find some documents that talk about the principles of protecting secret information. When the document is ready to be officially pr prom prom promulg promulgated, our office provide our full support. Go find him, kid. I've gotta go. Uh, attend to other matters. Gautiano strides off. What? Mr. Gantiano, wait! He left. There, did you see Mr. Gantiano's abilities? His secret to get everything done so well is avoiding doing anything at all with that carries even a modicum of risk. Oh, so it's the ability to skirk off your duties. There's nothing we can do now, except go find Mr. DeFour. This way, please. Why am I helping you? Like, actually, isn't this confidential? Do you have something for me, Iane? You seem to be out of breath. It's like this, Mr. DeFour. Iane explains the situation in detail. You've come to the wrong person, Iane. This document clearly has the subject of secrets. How could you fail to realize something so simple and obvious? I thought the subject was this document. Grammatically speaking, that's correct. Hey, that's not the subject right now, either. Your exactness is noted and appreciated, but I will not sign this document no matter what. I will not even entertain the thought. It should be Gantiano who leaves this matter. Mr. Gantiano said you should be the one in charge. Huh, me? And how should I do it? Grab a megaphone and set up the door, shutting at everyone as they come into work? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, don't bring your cameras to work. You'll leak all kinds of secrets. This would be bad, so don't. Or maybe print up a few hundred documents and leave them on the desk of every guestionnaire so they can take them with them as they go get their coffee? You think we're like Gantiano? That we can just grab leakers and teach them a lesson? All we can do is send out notices, the kind nobody takes notice of. But he's already signed the document, look here. Boy, do you have any clue what court organizer means? Um, the one who follows instructions from the other party? It means at least I'm not responsible for this. I categorically and completely refuse to sign this document. If it must be my office that is forced to take care of this, then let Maneval come down and tell me so in person. The forge charges out in a rage. He's so loud, Paimon didn't even dare to speak. As I said, he has quite the temper. So what do we do now? Don't worry, let's just go back and look for Mr. Royalty. I don't know if I'm saying any of these names right. This is a confidential matter. As such, it falls under your office's jurisdiction. Well, in that case, can we keep affairs we handle confidential from you in the future, even on personal related matters? Hey, those are two different things. Quit shifting the goalposts. Well, it's certainly not up to us to decide whether or not they're the same thing. It looks like I've messed things up again. Scary. 
I mean, how, how about we get out of here? Adults arguing is scary. Gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down. There's no need to be upset over such a trifling matter. This is not trifling- this is no trifling matter, Royal- Royal Day. This is a matter of grave importance that impacts the entire Maison Gestion. I dare not act rashly and decide it on my own. So it is. There is nothing trivial at all about protecting our secrets. I don't think there is anyone in the whole Maison Gestion more suited to handling this matter than you. Please, relax. Why must you gentlemen argue about who is in charge? As I see it, there's no need for anyone to be prim primarily responsible. You don't even need to coordinate. What? Huh? I fear I do not understand your meaning, Royal Day. I don't quite follow your train of thought, Royal Day. You two are both gentlemen with a wealth of experience, and I know that when dealing with something complicated, we must first divide it into simple things. The responsibility of preventing people from leaking secrets using cameras should logically fall to Gantiana. But you need not do anything ex extra. Just continue catching leakers, as before. As for informing everyone of the policy that cameras can be brought to Maison Gastion, this troubled task must fall for Defour. Nobody else in the Maison Gastion can clarify the new policy to the staff. We have no capability to enforce it. Nobody listens to us. You don't need to worry about that. Leave enforcement to Gantiano. What you need to do is not... N what you need to do is not notify, but propose. The bigger you print the proposal, the better. Put it at the entrance. Be sure to print the case of the last camera leak below it. That should be enough. That... This sounds... Exactly like before. How is this different from before? I don't understand. We're out there this way. I agree with this proposal. Excellent. It's very clean and clear. What? Proposal? Huh, that's easy. Then we have reached an accord. After Yana ever writes the draft, I'll bring it to both of you to look over. Now, let's get back. Let's each get back to work. Katiana and Defour look at each other for a moment, and then each turns and leaves. I'm very sorry, Miss Royalte. I really messed this up. Don't blame yourself, Yone. It's not your fault. At least not completely. Why do they suddenly accept your idea? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. That's right, why did they suddenly stop arguing? They looked like they were about to start a brawl. That's because you don't know what those two gentlemen truly care about. Do you think they simply want to take a take on extra work? Of course not. They simply don't they simply didn't want any other offices to get involved with their work, especially when they themselves would be held responsible. As long as you understand this, it's easy to remove the source of their discontent, and then they are quite willing to do the work. But your proposal, they still have to take responsibility. Gantiano and Defort are both experienced bureaucrats and they are both painfully aware of some simple truth. In a large organization such, such as the Maison Gaston, everyone has to take some responsibility. That's the only way to make sure everything can continue to operate smoothly. You can negotiate the size of responsibility, but everyone must take part. If anyone refuses to do so, well then they had best pray they never run into any trouble. Don't think too much on it, Ione. You will come to understand all this someday. Right now, the important thing is to go write a proposal and bring it to me. Got it? Yes, Miss Royalte. Royalte leaves in a hurry. It looks like another all-nighter. Guess I should grab a coffee first. Your health is important, too. I know that, but forget it. No buts. Sometimes I wonder if there's a point to all this work I do. I type, produce documents, chat, and run errands. Day in, day out. As an objective observer, Lumine, what are your thoughts? I am not sure just yet. Fine, perhaps you can give me an answer after you've observed a bit more. If you're interested, come here tomorrow. We can talk again then. As a Gestionaire here at the Maison Gestion, I've been drowning in a sea of work. Perhaps you could tell me, as an objective observer, what's the point of it all? Purpose of work. Paimon thinks that's, think that's a pretty complicated question. And Uane seems under a lot of pressure, too. How about we check on him again tomorrow, Lumine? Sure hope he doesn't burn out from all this work. You good, dude? Ah, uh, Traveler, it's nice to see you. You don't look so good. You have bags under your eyes. It seems like you can barely speak. You should take a break. I can't rest. I stayed up all night last night writing drafts, but none were good enough. Time for yet another rewrite. If you have any official business you require my assist assistance with, please wait a moment. You can pull up a chair near Miss Royalte. Perhaps he even, perhaps he even has coffee. I must get back to writing. No using to my dear colleagues is certainly not. 
Now, using two of my dear colleagues was certainly not formal enough. Okay. Traveler, glad to see you've come for another visit. Coffee? Why were none of you surprised to see me here before? Yeah, Paimon wanted to ask too, but but those guys were so loud and Paimon didn't dare talk about anything else. And I thought I was going to be kicked out. Why? No need to worry. The guards let you in, so why would we take it upon ourselves to chase you out? This is also an example of clear delegation of authority and responsibility. Hello, Traveler. I am Samain. It is a pleasure to meet you. Hello. Samain used to work in the courts as an assistant secretary. Due to some rather messy circumstances, he was transferred back to the Maison Gastion. Using his logical and precise deductions, we were able to find solutions to many previously intractable problems. Please, that's a bit much. I merely transferred over my previous work experience, and used the value of certain things to infer the importance of matters related to them. Though in practice, countless matters that cannot be precisely measured will crop up in the course of work, but in these cases, applying royalty's well-developed axioms of human interaction is of great assistance. And that means what now? Put simply, when dealing with works, Simane... Simane... Samaine is quite skilled in considering all sides and their state, and makes everyone feel like they are important. It's like a balance. It's like balance. It's like balancing scales. And if the balancing act is simply impossible, then I can tip the scales with the weight of words. Ayani sure seems to be working hard. Can you help him? Yeah, it seems like he's about to pass out. This is a pet that all must walk sooner or later. Should I help Ayane write the document, he will not remember this lesson. His head and heart are filled with ideal. Idealistic fantasies about what working in the Maison Gestion is, but fantasies are for the young, not for Gestionaires. And I simply don't know how to write those documents. You're quite direct. Alright, so what business brings you here? Tell me, and I'll see if I can. Ione suddenly runs over in a panic. Alas, all is done in ruin. Mr. Royalty, do you have spare keycaps for the typewriter? As I was typing, I suddenly discovered that a keycap was missing. I have no idea where it could have been. Did you already have a look nearby? Maybe it just fell onto the ground. Or maybe it's stuck in a book, or sandwiched between documents. Did you already check these possibilities? Or maybe it's in a pen holder, or your sleeve. Or your hair, or in a teacup. I've looked everywhere, even my pockets and my shoe bottoms. I've searched all over, and no, and it's nowhere to be found. Very well, then you should go ask Cornelia. If we do have spares for things like keycaps, then she's the one you need to file a request with. I should just go buy one myself. It shouldn't take Estelle long... At all, long at all to make a keycap. My dear Ione, do you really want to spend your own money? The typewriter and his keycaps are public property, and the property of Maison Gassion. Filing an application with Cornelia is the proper procedure. It really doesn't cost much at all. This is not a matter of how much, this is a matter of authority and responsibility. Repairing the public property of Maison Gassion should be paid for by the public accounts of the Maison Gassion. If you pay for this with your private funds and do not file a claim for a reimbursement, then when expenses are audited at the end of the year, it will be unclear where the money came from. Fine, fine. I'll go find Cornelia right now. Is even pay is even paying for things this annoying? This is actually quite normal around here. Please, this way. Let's go find Cornelia. How long is this quest? Hello, Miss Leone. Mr. Oyone, may I help you? And hello to you too, Miss Cornelia. Do we have any spare keycaps for a typewriter? Excuse me? My typewriter is missing a keycap, so I would like to apply for a replacement. If there isn't one in stock, it would also work if you could reimburse the purchase of a new one. Expensing a peak Expensing a keycap. That shouldn't be a problem in principle. Sign your name here, please. Just write requesting reimbursement for replacement keycap due to typewriter malfunction, and then sign your name in office. Very well, I can get the keycap today, right? I really need to get back to work. Mr. I Ione, have you ever applied for reimbursement for the purchase of public property before? Being reimbursed for work expenses is not at all like you imagine. You don't simply buy something and reimburse it. We need to compile all the reimbursement receipts and, do and documents on a monthly basis, create summary reports, and then submit everything to the Maison Cardinalis for approval at the end of the month. This approval process is related to the approval and payment of salaries for the entire Maison Gestion. If the amount expensed is too late, then the Maison Cardinalis will even need to submit to Monsieur Nouvellet himself for approval. Payments can only be officially sent after the review is complete and everything is signed. If he has any questions about a certain expense report, the staff member in question must submit a written report. We are just preparing to submit our first batch of reports. 
which we shall do sometime in the next few days. I mean, if I'm unfortunate enough, then I might require Monsieur, Monsieur Nouvellet himself to sign off on that keycap reimbursement? Such are the rules, Mr. Yone. As since the total expenses for this month are large indeed, he may very well be required to audit the reports. Monsieur Nouvellet, wait, isn't that your chief justice? But it's just a keycap, and we're making him sign for it. It just doesn't feel right. Isn't there some other way? I think so too. After all, it's only a keycap, and we don't trouble and we don't trouble him with it. That is true, there are other ways. Yes, you could go buy a keycap yourself first, then I could provide you an official acknowledgement of debt in the public accounts. After all the reimbursements have been processed and the payment process completed, the amount owed will be paid to you directly from the public purse. Excellent, let's do that. After all, a keycap doesn't cost much. I can pay for it. Then please sign here, and you should still write requesting reimbursement for a replacement keycap due to typewriter malfunction. Are you going to purchase a replacement from Mrs. Stell? Yes, indeed. Is anything wrong? Then I will take the IOU to Mr. Royalty for him to sign, and then take it to Miss Estelle to verify the purchase amount. But you don't need to worry about that. Just hurry and buy your keycap. I'll take care of the rest. Thank you so much. You really are the best, Miss Cornelia. I'll go buy. It. I'll go and buy it right now. Come on, traveler. It's time to leave. What is this quest? Why? Why do I care? Why do I care about this man <laughs> and his keycap? Why do I care? Also, why is reading French names so hard? I don't even know if I'm doing it right. Yone, what is it? You seem to be out of breath. Estelle, please, I need a keycap for a typewriter. You should have something here, right? Right? Of course, but typewriters have so many different keys. Take a look and see which one you need a keycap for. Yone starts to rummage around, searching for the keycap he needs at lightning speed. This one. This is it. Here's the money. Thank you, Estelle. Last time you said you'd like to go boating with me. Yone, hey! Yone! Okay. Great, now I can finally continue working. This proposal must be finished today. Thank you so much. When I have time, I will certainly treat you to an excellent meal. Are you free tomorrow? Come find me here if you've got the time. Wait for me to finish work and we can all go get- all go eat a tasty meal. Finish your work first. You're right, I must work faster. Wait, what's the next sentence? I should have written everything down.
Ione? Ione! Ah, what? Yes, yes, I finished. I finished writing. It's me. Did you finish writing it? Oh, it's you. I must have fallen asleep. Sorry. Mr. Oyote and Mr. Samain stayed with me half the night. With their guidance, I finally managed to finish the proposal. But I was just too tired. I thought I'd just close my eyes for a bit. I never thought I'd sleep until now. I need to go find Mr. Thales first and have him stand this proposal with the official seal to my son Gustion, and then take the proposal to Mr. Defour for his stamp. And then we can begin officially printing it. And then we'll be done with this. Sounds simple enough. Yeah, in any case, I've heard that Mr. Thales has introduced a brand new type of machine for affixing stamps. They say that it's convenient and made with confidentiality in mind, and that they plan to use it throughout the entire Maison Gestion. Take a look, Mr. Mr. Royalty even gave me a key. Every department must use this key to activate the stamping machine. Anyway, it all sounds pretty formal and official. Why don't you take another nap? It looks like you could barely walk straight. Anyway, it's just getting a document stamp, and there's that stamping machine to do it. There's no need to rush. No, we cannot afford any more delays. Let us go right away, like you said. It's only a stamp. It shouldn't take too much time. I'm gonna, like, fucking pass out or something. <laughs> Thales, can I get my document stamp now? Yes, of course you can. Did you bring the key? And please, sign here, too. I thought we wouldn't need to sign now that we've got the machine. Well, about that, the machines must still be operated by someone, so you still have to sign in, don't you? It's a guarantee. But this machine is perfect for maintaining secrecy. Without a key, even I can't start it up. Put the document documents here and make sure they are properly aligned. Then insert the key into the keyhole. Is that... Automatic stamping machine? Is this that autom uh, Oh. Is this that automatic stamping machine? It looks really ordinary. Like this, and just turn the key. Wait a sec. Just hold that post. Don't move. I'll take a picture. Why do you want to take a photo? When we first deployed these machines, Mr. Karsik specifically specified that we must use a camera to make a record of everyone that came to get documents stamped. I need to move. Can't have this document in the frame. Recently, someone said there is going to be a new document pr promulgated here at the Maison Gestion that, speci that specifically addresses secrets leaked through cameras. I don't want to be the first one to be made an example of. Lumi, let's go wait outside. If we're in the photo, maybe we'll get sucked in some kind of baloney involved leaked secrets. Thales carefully takes a picture. Okay, I've taken the photo. Please start up the machine. I turned the key already. Why isn't it responding? That's impossible. I just repaired it. It can't be broken again already. Thales begins to inspect the machine. That's odd. There's something wrong with it. Reinsert the key and try again. Okay, here goes. He only takes out the key, puts it back in, and the machine still doesn't move. It's not working. Thales, think of something. Maybe you didn't align the documents properly? You need to fit the document to the markings. There are hidden trigger mechanisms inside. Does the document have anything to do with the machine not starting? Of course it does. Otherwise, how could the machine know there are documents waiting to be stamped? It's an automatic machine, after all. I'm not operating it manually. Oh, for the love of- Fine, fine. I'll make sure it's properly aligned with all the markings. Yone takes out the document and places it back. The machine still sits there, silently. It's no good. It still isn't working. How could this be? The last time I gave it a little smack and then it started working again properly. Then I'll give it a whack. It appears we have no choice but to try it. Are we getting close to the point where we resort to prayer to try and fix it? That's true, we can still pray, can't we? Lightly tap the machine. The machine replies to you with complete silence. Put a bit more oomph into this tap. The machine seems like it's too lazy to even care about your efforts. Smack it so hard that its later iterations will feel it. The machine breaks its silence and lets out a rusty, annoyed sound, as though a very sleepy person just fell out of bed. Whoa, what's that sound? Don't tell Paimon the machine completely broke down. And then, as if the machine simply found the slippers and stumbled over to turn on the light, it begins to operate with a whir and a clunk. It's finally working! The auto stamper is well worn, but it works slowly and methodically. With several people on the brink of despair gazing at it intently, the machine slowly drops a stamp downward and all the speed of an el with all the speed of an elderly tent tortoise climbing a cliff. The stamp, having taken its first step onto the paper, seems to stagger around in the document before meandering slowly about and finally settling, settling down to rest. Finally, the machine shivers and shudders and begins to slowly retract the stamp. Ha, I told you it would work! I truly don't understand just what's so great about the, this machine. It's called automatic, but it's far slower than just doing it by hand. But it is perfect for maintaining confidentiality and secrecy. Look around, even if we wanted to, we couldn't take the stamp out and use it for our own private purposes without permission. Don't act so smug. 
What if the machine completely breaks down and Mr. Carsix isn't here either? What then? Hmm, well, it'll still be okay. I have a backup key. To open up this machine? No, to open up a box in Mr. Carsix's office. There's a backup stamp in there. Traveler, let's hurry up. We must find a stamp with the document. documents so we can deliver it to Mr. DeFore. I can't wait to be free from this nightmare. Okay, we have all the stamps, the document has been bound and stapled, and all that's left is to give it to Mr. DeFore and we'll finally be done. Today, I'm going to get a good night's sleep and forget about all of this. Then I'll take a day off and go find a stuff. Mr. Ioni, Ioni, do you have a moment? Yes, what is it? No way did the reimbursement get approved so quickly. Oops. That it did not, but Monsieur Nouvellet sent someone sent someone to me and had me come ask you, why are you expensing a single keycap and an entire typewriter? Because, well, because a single keycap fell off, that's all. Why would I need to expense an entire new typewriter? You know, that does make sense. Perhaps, but our list of items eligible for reimbursement includes typewriters, not individual keycaps. As such, keycaps are a brand new payment item. Therefore, you must submit a written document to Monsieur Nouvellet and explain in detail why are you expensing that single, single keycap. Why does it feel like some kind of bad joke and not actual government business? Is that really necessary? So you want me to write a separate report to the Chief Justice explaining how I lost a single keycap? So my son Cardinalis said that it was a request from Monsieur Nouvellet himself. As if, my son Cardinalis says everything is a request from Monsieur Nouvellet himself. But no one dares test the waters and see if that's actually the truth. Come now, Ione, calm down and listen to me. As a Gestion heir to my son Gestion, orders from the Chief Justice are an imperative, carrying the full weight of the administration. Simply put, you have no choice but to write it. My phone just buzzed. Now that this is a bad thing, you know. Now that this is a bad thing, you know. You can use this chance to show off your handwriting to him. Not everyone gets a chance to make a separate report to him. But I... Uh-oh. Hello. Friends, good news. We just caught someone leaking secrets with a camera red-handed. Can my phone not buzz when it's right next to the camera? Or the mic, I mean, not the camera. A sterling example of negative behavior that we shall conclude in the proposal. And as for this criminal who knew the, la who knew the law yet knowingly violated it, it is in fact the very person who reminded everyone not to use cameras lest they expose secrets, Mr. Carsix. Him! It's because of him that you and I was up all night writing the proposal, and I've been caught breaking the rules first, no less. He used the camera to take multiple photos of his office and then distributed them to reporters. One of the photos included his own minutes from meetings, and the public has now discovered the context of the minutes are widely different from what he said in his previous speeches. Rumors are swirling like mad, and it appears that Mr. Karsik's office is about to become the biggest joke in Fontaine. Again. Wait a minute, what do the minutes have to do with the speech? Almost all of the contents of the speech were agreed upon in the meetings recorded by those minutes. Of course they're related. So why are they so different? Oh, that's actually quite normal. The purpose of the meetings and the minutes is to tell us exactly what content cannot appear in the speech. Karsix himself hasn't got the foggiest notion of what he's going to say, and doesn't even have his own ideas. He's completely reliant on being reminded by his subordinates. Wait, so where is Mr. Karsix now? He's awaiting investigation in my office. After all, not only did he leak secret documents, but he also caused quite the storm in the city. I think he may have to stay in there a while. But what about my document? I finished writing it. It's all stamped up and ready, and I... Hey now, it's okay. You wrote it. It'll get sent out eventually. It wasn't a waste. Calm down. Ione, Ione, are you there? Mr. Samain, you're finally here. Please, help me think of something. Don't talk about that now. Your keycap. Have you already expensed it? You think? I even have to write a report to Monsu and never let himself about it. Oh, drat. Take a look. Is this that keycap? You- Where did you find it? It was under my desk. Just as the cleaning staff was sweeping, they accidentally swept it over. Someone saw it and put it on my desk. I thought it was a keycap from my own typewriter at first, so I put it away. But today I took a look in, I realized my typewriter wasn't missing a single keycap, so... This nightmare, when will it end? Lumine, what really is the meaning behind my work? Ione falls to the ground in a faint. Ione! Ione! Ione is rushed to the doctor. And this is all my fault. If only I'd found the keycap earlier, things wouldn't have turned out like this. How is this issue about the keycap? Hello? 
That's right, everything's a complete mess. Iona didn't even know what to do. Tatiana and Defor have also just vanished. What's going on with these guys anyway? Iona doesn't know what the point of his work is. That kid's always thinking about those sorts of things. The point of work. Such a grand topic can be easily explained in just a few words. You only heap more pressure on yourself by constantly worrying about such issues. Well, do you know the answer then? No, I've never even considered it. I just work. As for me, while I do think about it now and then, I have my own way, own way to deal with stress. If you really want to find the answer, perhaps we can, we could find some time to talk more. But right now, I've got to buy some fruit and go see I Ione. Now that's the main matter, and no mistake. I'm also going to help Ione apply for sick leave. He really needs to rest. Great, we have each, we each have our task. That's the way to get things done. We'll see you later then, Lumine. Huh? That's weird. Where did I put that sick leave form? What the fuck? There's more! Oh my god, there's more. Just like I stressed before, dear Gustionaire, that's how the procedure goes and there's nothing I can do. Mr. Royote did send a list of required documents and I have them ready. I do have them ready. However, you can't simply come over and take any document. That does not conform with our letter delivery regulations. Huh? Ione! Hi Ione, you're looking good. You as well. It's all thanks to the help I've received from Mr. Royote and Mr. Semain. You know the mean too, Ione? Of course, Lumine did me a huge favor before. Without her, I wouldn't still be working at the Maison Gestion. Really? No wonder Lumine is an honorary senior researcher for the Institute. of the Institute. I'm very good at providing moral support. Regardless, without your support, I'm sure I couldn't have made it. I believe I heard Mr. Quezello call you an honorary senior researcher of the Institute just now. Bingo, I even have the certificate. And a photo! Paimon's in it too, but Paimon didn't get a certificate. Yes, in recognition of Lumi's merits and achievements, the Institute has granted her the title of Honorary Senior Researcher. As for what those achievements are, I'll let her speak for herself. Let's talk business first. I really cannot hand that document to you right now, Ione. But as far as but as for what you asked earlier that you'd like a researcher to guide you all guide you over and take some pictures near the Institute, that's no problem at all. I think Lumi might just be suited to the job. She knows the surroundings like the back of her hand and she'll be more than equal to the task. What do you say, Miss Lumine? I'm happy to help Iona out. You're so kind. As long as you're there, I should be. It should be fine. When I came, all I saw were out of control mecha and monsters. But taking pictures isn't the priority here. Truth be told, Mister Quizel, I'd love to help you too, Iona. But the procedure is procedure, and my hands are tied. Please don't make it hard on a lowly public official who only knows how to stamp documents. All right, I'll discuss this with Mister Royote later after I return. Goodbye, Mister Quizel. Have a nice day. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your time at the Fontaine Research Institute. It's your turn to be guide. <laughs> it's your turn to be the guide now, Lumine. Why don't we go to the Marianne Memorial Park first? How long is this quest? Oh my God! Hold on.
Okay. I don't know. I think this is the last quest. Oh, it's right there. Those mechas look like they're out of control. I noticed as soon as I as I arrived. I even took the long road just to bypass them. Life the means, goes the on. Quantum Research Institute is just there letting is them no run escape. wild. My I apologies. The rest of that. Shine down. Whirling snow. Uh, is this the Marianne Memorial Park? I can't tell it's a park at all. Mr. Loyalty would be disappointed. He was hoping to have someone make a speech here. Looking around, a speech is out of the question. There's not even an iconic landmark here. It's not good for group photos. You can take some mecha back with you as a, men as a memento. You're funny, but there's no room in the Maison Gassion for such things. And even if I could, I still have to have the mecha appraised, reported, categorized, and stored. Hey, we're only joking. No need to get so focused on work all of a sudden. Speaking of reports, I still can't get that document. Miss Royalty will be disappointed again. What were you and Quizzo discussing back there? As you may know, the Institute is making plans to rebuild, right? Certain resources and personal arrange arrangements have to be made through the Maison Gastion. Maison Gastion takes this matter very seriously, so it had Mr. Royalty select a team to conduct field studies in and around the vicinity. Therefore, Mr. Royalty stayed behind at the Maison Gastion to do the head count while I am to visit the Institute to coordinate the reception. It happens that the Institute has a letter for the Maison Gastion, so I thought since I'm here already, I might as well bring it back with me. But Mr. Quaisel insisted it was a violation of proper procedure and simply would not give it to me. Violation of procedure? What procedure? There are proper procedures for picking up a document? Uh, don't tell Paimon there's going to be running around for approval, signatures, and listening to bureaucrats babble on endlessly as well. Simply put, most official correspondence within the Maison Gastion must be mailed. What? Then, what are the departments mailing the letter on the same street? Or even right across from each other? Yes, you still have to mail it. That's for the purpose of being traceable. Gussie and I are sure aren't afraid of work. I suppose everyone is just used to it all by now. Never mind, let's just go to the next spot. Let me check the memo Mr. Royalty left for me. Uh... This place is called... The Institute's Academic Assembly Hall. Strange, I didn't see any buildings with such a sign when I came. I know where it is, just follow me. I know I could depend on you. What would I do without you? Let's hurry then. There might be more out of control mecha around here. Oh my back! I'm not laying in my chair correctly. So much reading. It's so boring. Watch that this is, like, some super, super important, like, lore to, like, a story, part like, a part of the lore of the game, and I'm just like, Hey, it's boring! I don't want to do this anymore! Watch my look. Be like that. Is this the Academic Assembly Hall? I admit, the structure does look like a hall, but what's academic about it? The rocks aren't academic, that's for sure. Alright, good thing I didn't come for anything academic today. Anyway, the building seems relatively... Intact? Intact is all it has left. Ahem. Come. Come on, let's look around. I think this place is perfect for a group photo. I should go find a good vantage point so I won't be at a, com at a complete loss if Mr. Royalte girls me. Please take a few pictures for me too, Lumine. I heard you're a good photographer. Certainly better than me. I got this. If 
decides to take a picture of this thing. I'm confused. This one isn't bad. Have you finished taking pictures yet? Yes. Or not. What? Confusion. I'm confused. I am thoroughly confused. No! I really am confused. I don't- I don't understand why it's not working. Is it because of the camera that I have selected? I'm watching a YouTube video because I'm so fucking confused. Oh. Jesus. The fact I had to fucking look that up. This wasn't a bad. Have you finished it? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Oh 
am I? Too high. Far too high. Are you describing the Institute's academic level? No, I'm marveling at the height of this place. Though the Institute's academics were certainly up there, too. But now, who could have foreseen so many hardships for the Institute? And who knows how smooth reconstruction will be? The last stop is the Fontaine Research Institute Qualification Review Representative Office. All in one breath. Impressive. Thank you, but where is it? I didn't notice any, any office in the Institute. Is Desnos in charge of the office? Yes, that's right. You know even this place? I shouldn't be surprised that the honorary senior researcher knows everything about the Institute. Oh, Pi remembers now. Is it that office in the ruins? If you can count that as an office. Maybe Mr. Desnos shortened the name to make it easier for you to understand. Please lead the way. I have to get some files from Mr. Desnos, too. Once I have them, I can return to the Maison Gestion. It's been such an uneventful day today. I should be able to go back and relax soon. The Fontaine Research Institute sure does things differently from... I didn't say a thing. Oh, right there. Sub detection units, even though I don't know who they're used for. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Archon saved me. May no more mecha cause trouble. What are you doing here, Ione? Mr. Royalty has sent me here to conduct an inspection, so I thought I'd drop by and bring you some coffee. But I had to say that your working environment is indeed quite difficult. I thought this office would at least have an actual room. Thank you for the coffee, my dear Ione. As for the work environment, I'm content with what I have. Look around, at least I'm working under an intact ceiling. Are you still in charge of the, of the qualifications review? Lumine! No, I should call you honorary senior researcher. Glad to see you. Uh, what's with that sad look, Ione? It's like this. In the long phase, Ione recounts all that has happened. Hmm, is the correspondent some sort of classified document? It can't be. Replies like this are typically in the vein of, Got it, I have no questions, I don't know, or something similar. At most, it's copied to different departments to let them know it's something they should care about. Oh, no wonder I got a copy of the letter too. Have a look, is this it? What? But Mr. Quetzal clearly said he hadn't mailed it yet. Oh, he must have meant that the external letters haven't been sent out yet. Once more, he failed to tell the whole truth. People from the Institute are really good at getting under your skin, huh? Judging from your reaction, this must be the document you wanted. I read it several times already myself. This is identical to the document you wanted. Very astute, Lumine. I'm sure all the letters that Quizel sent out are the same, Ione. Why don't you just take my copy back with you? Wait, what? If Ione takes it, then won't you have lost yours? Oh, huh, look at me. Nobody will care if someone in my position accidentally loses a non-essential letter. Not a bad idea. See, Ione, I'm not just mooching coffee off of you. No, Monsieur, I cannot do that. It's against regulations. I'll go back and wait for the official letter to be delivered. My dear Ione, think outside the box. Don't be a fool. Why must you insist on making it hard for yourself? Who knows when that letter will get to you? The sooner you get it, the sooner you can start working and settle all that mess. No, Monsieur, thank you, but I will not violate regulations. My duty as a civil servant demands it. Lumine, Mr. Desnos and Paimon, and... Mr. Lumine, Mr. Desmos, and Paimon, I must leave now. Mr. Royalte is still waiting for me to report back. Ione walks away with solemn, heavy steps. Ione can be such a fool. His brains have gone all rotten, haven't they? Everyone else tries to make things easier for themselves, yet he insists on going through the motions, even for small things like this. That's just his character. Admir admirable, yet scary at the same time. No wonder he has few friends in the Masson Gassian other than Royalte and Saman. I'm his friend, too. So is Paimon, so is Paimon. That's good, you should be around him more often. I feel Iona's nerves are getting more and more frayed by the day. As to the letter, I'll see what I can do. I'll pay Mr. Quizel a visit and ask him to let me mail them out. 
If he agrees, I'll send one to Eniane as quickly as possible. It takes a lot of effort to be friends with a fool. Okay. That was one of the most boring fucking quests I've ever had to do. A blade embraces its duty, as a jeweler cherishes their gems. Lovely. Thank you for comp Ad Astra Okay We've been out live for like not even an hour and a half Okay I think we'll do... Hmm... My attention span is like waning right now. I have very little attention span right now. I think my eight hour shift today just kind of killed me. Cause I genuinely- so I work- I work at a gas station, right? I work at a gas station that serves hot food throughout like the day. And I work the lunch shift specifically because we have breakfast and lunch. And because of my current school schedule, I only work lunch. Like, I only do lunch shifts because we have, like, other shifts besides breakfast and lunch. So I do, like, swing shifts and, like, the closing shift. When the swing shift is really just 10 to 6 when the ending shift ends at 7. So it's not really that different. It's just me not really having to, like, sweep or mop the floor, basically. Um... What was I saying? But yeah, but I got there at 10, 10 o'clock, which is when lunch starts because breakfast ends at 9.30 a.m. and lunch starts at 10 a.m. And so usually my boss will have someone come in at 10 a.m. and then someone that comes in at 11 a.m. because no one's allowed to work like more than an eight hour shift. Um, so in order to make sure that there's someone there to start lunch, but also someone there to close up at the end of the night. She has someone that comes in at 10 and someone that comes in, in at like 11 or later. So basically someone that comes in at 10 and then a separate person that leaves at 7. Um, I was the 10 to 6 person today. I got up at 6. But I spent literally 8 fucking hours making food non-stop i think the only break i got from making food non-stop was when i went to go grab the cookies from the freezer because the system like the computer system that tells us what to make and when to make it would not stop giving me stuff because it automatically re give like re um prints a food item after two hours 
after the labels were printed, because for most of the food, besides burritos, burritos are the only thing that does not like this, they are three hours, but mo almost every single food item can only be on the warmer for two hours because of, like, food safety rules and stuff. And, um, so at least every two hours that item is going to get repeated, and because there's so many different food items, there's a lot of fucking stuff to make. And I've gotten pretty good at, like, time management and, like, speed on making certain items and, like, packaging and stuff. So that I can get most stuff done- most of the, like, food done within, like, an hour. In, like, an hour, hour and a half-ish. So that I have time to do other things, like prep! Like, prep work! Uh, I only did, like, two things of prep work. Actually, I technically only did one. I did one thing of prep work, and I was to prep the shredded pork. And by prep, it really just means portion it out. So that it's in, like, smaller, manageable portions. So that we can, like, heat up smaller portions of, like, meat. So, that's what I mean by prep. That's what we mean by prep meats. What the fuck? Okay. Um... Yeah, that's the only prep work I gotta do. I had to do. And also, I had a moment where I could go and grab all the expired cookies off the racks. Where we store cookies, because there's two separate places. And they all had their own individual, like, slot things that you stick them in. I don't know. But I, I, my co-worker that was, like, doing the closing shift, um... Oh, was it Thanksgiving in Canada? Okay. Um, she took over the, like, main food making, uh, for a little bit so I could go and grab the cookies, because she... I'm fine going into the freezer and sitting in there for a few minutes grabbing the cookies, freezing my ass off, because the cold doesn't really bother me that much, and she hates going in there, so I'm perfectly fine going in there and getting the cookies. Because also, I think I'm the only person that, like, worries about allergens because we like half of the cookies that we're cooking right now at my store have like peanuts or peanut butter in them and i don't think anyone else actually like separates the peanut butter cookies from the non-peanut butter cookies and like wears separate gloves like i grab all the peanut butter cookies with my left hand and all the non-peanut butter cookies with my right hand and they have their own individual bins that i put them in i have the peanut butter bin and i have the non-peanut butter bin <laughs> And then when I uh, put them on the pans, I do the non-peanut butter ones first, with my gloves on, and then I go and do the peanut butter ones so I don't, like, contaminate the non-peanut butter ones. I don't think anyone else does that. Because also, I'm not a lead or anything, I'm just the average worker. I've just been there so long, longer than anyone else, besides my boss, that a lot of people will come to me for questions, because I'm the most experienced, mostly, besides my boss. But also, I'm not a lead. I could be a lead if I really wanted to be. My boss has told me that. That she would like to have me as a lead, but she knows I can't because of school. But yeah. That eight, my 8-hour shift just, like, killed me. Because I couldn't stop making food until a half hour before my shift ended. So I had, like... But it does slow down at about, like, 5 o'clock because it ends at 5.30 and I got off at 6. So that, that like five to six hour was just me cleaning basically like wiping down counters throwing dishes in the sink uh and then i packaged the cooked cookies as well and put them out because my coworker asked me to um but yeah i think i'm just like exhausted i was also listening to dexter the show while doing it and my coworker was at like near the end of shift she's like what have you been listening to or what have you been watching? And I'm like, Dexter? She's like, oh, I love Dexter! So, I'm talking about that. I finished season one, and the I like got really invested into it, because I started from watching, or listening, I wasn't really watching it all that much, because I'm busy making food. But I was, um, 
so invested. And spoiler warning, I was I got everything all of the assumptions correct. I was like, oh, the guy is gonna the guy dating the sister, he's gonna be the, the ice truck killer. I was right. And then um the I was like, oh, he's associated with Dexter in somehow. He must be like a, like his brother or something. Like related to him by blood, like a brother. And that's why he knows so much about Dexter. I was right. <laughs> Um, and also I kind of assumed that the, like, abusive ex-husband of, like, Dexter's girlfriend was, like, gonna die or something, and I was right. So. And then there's eight seasons? So. Yeah. I just started season two. And his graveyard of dumped bodies got discovered. And I'm like, well, obviously he didn't get caught because there's eight seasons. But what the fuck? Like, how is he going to get out of that? I guess he did frame one of the killings on the husband that was dead. So my thought is, like, why don't you just, like, frame it on someone else? And then dump bodies in a different area that's more... Loki, I don't fucking know. I'm not a serial killer. I just like listening to true crime, true crime podcasts and stuff. Hence why I started listening to Dexter while I work. I was like, oh, it's like a true crime thing. One of my other favorite shows is Bones, which is like a true crime drama show like Dexter. So, although it was very awkward. When I, cause I had it, I had my phone propped up, like, on a shelf below, like, the main working table. Cause we're not really supposed to have our phones on, like, or, like, anything personal, like, on the tables. Cause, like, bacteria and stuff. So I had my phone on, like, a lower shelf that we don't really, like, put, like, raw food on. So that when I could, wanted to, I could, like, glance at it and watch in between, like, cooking times and stuff. And it was very awkward when there was, like, a sex scene that came up. And I would just, like push my phone a little bit like under the shelf so that no one could see it because i'm like um that's um that that's a bit inappropriate for my workplace here especially considering that i'm working with food it's just ugh. it doesn't help that i'm also asexual so like i'm ace so it does it just was even more awkward but anyway now that i've ranted about my work day today I think I'm gonna end stream early tonight because my what is this dude's outfit? Champion duelist. There'll be an extra. What? Okay, never mind. Uh huh. Yep. You're right. Yeah. I'm gonna end stream early tonight because my attention span can just cannot hold i think i'm gonna start streaming other games again because i'm getting more and more caught up with genshin and stuff so i can finally start streaming other games and school is slowing down a little bit for me but i still have like my other like personal like real life projects that i have to work <sighs> on as well i only wish life could be as leisurely as this a little okay often Anyway, let's, let's, let's do the, the ending procedure. I hate that this is like not. That works, I guess. I really was only alive for like an hour. Because, like, I spent like 20 to 30 minutes preparing, which is mostly just me putting the dishes away because I forgot to do it earlier and I didn't want to just, like, leave them. But anyway, thank you to everyone who stopped by, everyone who's chatting, everyone who's lurking, and everyone who's watching this back as a VOD. I'm hoping tomorrow's stream will be a lot longer, probably do a lot more quests. Because I also, I don't want to stay up super late tonight, and I have a lot of other things I need to do still. Um... And then I also need to find, like, the stuff I need for my little project. It's just- I just need to sand and stain some boards that I'm just gonna turn into shelves. But I need to find the stuff. 
so I might do that tomorrow, so I might delay stream for later in the day. I don't know. I might not have school Monday or Tuesday, so either I'm going to work on them during those days or I'm going to stream those days. I haven't decided. I will stream norm like the normal stream time. It just might start earlier in the day, but I don't know exactly because this is my first school break in a while, so I should take advantage of it to do other stuff besides just live stream and play video games. I should actually be like productive in my life with like, you know, cleaning my room. Anyway, I'm gonna go decompress and relax from my busy work day. Cause I can't keep my attention span focused on this game anymore to keep reading boring ass dialogue. All right, anyway. I hope to see everyone tomorrow for stream. We'll probably do some like story quests and stuff. Uh, probably. Cause it's Farina's next. And I really can't wait for Farina's story quest. I have been waiting for it. Farina's, Clarans, and Arlequinos are like the ones I've been waiting for. So Farina's is tomorrow for sure. And we'll probably do some like other world quests as well. Anyway, thank you guys stop by. Hope to see everyone tomorrow. I love you all. Bye. I'm tired.